Hello, Terracon4 here. This time I am doing a short video on the 2D radar and sonar actor package thing, project. I don't know, the basic question that I'm trying to answer in this one is how do you actually set it up? Pretty simple, luckily. So, exiting out of this, you're going to take a specific copy of the third person character. Currently, this is just an exact copy. Nothing has been done with it yet. We're going to call this one our test actor. Over here, you can auto search to find under the pawn category, auto possess. So, with this, if we play, instead of spawning something there, we'll specifically get this guy. So, say you want to have a sonar unit on this character. Maybe he's got a little heads up display, or he's holding a little handheld thing. You could do it a few different ways, but in this case we're just going to drop a screen here. So to start with, let's look at the actual little demo actors that we have here. Referencing these, you got a widget, simple enough, and the radar actor itself. And then there's a queue which just shows you where the thing is, that's not actually necessary. And then the actual code to get these to work is basically this. At the beginning of play, the widget component, it will get the widget object, which it is displaying, and then using that it will do a set 2D radar source actor, telling it, hey, you should be displaying stuff from this actor. And then there's also the option for this demo purpose to display it to the viewport, so it will draw it directly onto the player's viewport as opposed to a in-world geometry piece if you want. So we'll start with this. And let's we'll grab this while we're at it. So, wherever your begin play node is, or create a custom event and call it from your begin play node, we will more or less do this. This section here is the main thing that we'll need to display something on the actor. Still, we'll want two components, a widget and a radar actor. So I like just copying things over for simplicity, and you can too. We'll just create them more, yeah, here, so you can show the see the process. Child actor, radar, 2D radar, and with this, the child actor is a component that will spawn and manage this actor. So in here, we can find the details and stuff for the actor in question that it will spawn. Now, in this case, I'm going to just go back and copy this actor since it's already got some basic settings. The widget, similarly, you need to more or less just do a little bit of stuff. And off the top of my head, window visible, yes, on zero, one sided. And that's pretty much the two differences is setting this to widget 3D pass one sided, which is engine content stuff. already there anyway. And make sure... visible. So let's take this, spin it around, and make it so we can see it from our camera. That big right now. Bleep, bleep. Yeah. And if you wanted to stick it on like the wrist or something, then you could put it underneath the mesh in question and go up here and like, hid. Let's see, where's the hid? By having gone here to the parent socket part, at this point, it is now stuck to the character's head, more or less. You could do that so it would be stuck to the wrist or wherever. So, back to the event graph, pretty much you're just taking it so that the widget you get the radar component by using get user widget object, then set 2D radar source actor by having gone the radar actor, get child actor. You have to do this because remember the radar actor here is just a component that references the actor, but it is not itself an actor. So, gotta remember that part if you're new to Unreal. And then this whole area is. 
for one demo, we'll just turn that on. Now to be saving the viewport widget for later reference. So, going back, we can now see there is one visible in front of our character there, currently attached to his head. And that there's one on the screen in the lower right. So it's pretty simple to stick onto stuff. If it's like a vehicle or something in your game, then you probably just stick this someplace on like a monitor. The radar actor itself, you'd set someplace wherever you want to be the center of this. It might be up near the front of your vehicle, or maybe that's direct center, whatever. And if you want to flick with the options, just go down here and, well, poke around at the options. Maybe you want shorter range, maybe you don't want the scan time to be as long, or you want to change how it does that, whatever. Pretty straightforward. As far as the actual blueprint code, though, that you need to do yourself, for the most part, you just need to drop it into your actor and set up this. You could also potentially set this up in the world, like set this stuff up directly in the world as a world object, and then under the uh, blueprints for the world blueprint, you can open the level blueprint, and then you can make references to and set it up here if you needed to. Like, you want one of these in the open world that's contacting all display monitors in some base facility to show something, whatever. So yeah, that's it. Hope you find this helpful, and good night, or morning, or whatever it is for you, wherever you are. Have a good one.